Hey, hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. For this video, I'm going out to the range, to the bench, to see what kind of groups I can get with my own hand loads. You guys that follow the channel will know that I recently took a trip to Arizona with Frankfurt Arsenal. They set us down with a bench, taught us a bunch of stuff about reloading. I'm literally a newbie, a super beginner. My buddy Gavin there from the Ultimate Reloader channel, he was there teaching us stuff, giving us tips. No question was too dumb or too small. I really appreciated it. And we did some, some load testing. I did a video on that trip if y'all want to go check it out and really get into the nitty gritty. Those of you guys that love nerding out on the reloading stuff, go check out that full video. But these are my hand loads in six millimeter Creedmoor. And for today, what I'm doing is going out to the range. We got some good weather, no wind, and I'm really gonna be able to take my time with these hand loads and just see how good I can do. When we were out there in Arizona, we had kind of some shaky tables, a whole lot of wind, definitely not the best environment for doing some precision stuff. What I'm taking out to the range today to test my six millimeter Creedmoor hand loads is this. Oh, this is the Seekins Precision Havoc Hit. That's a mouthful, but this thing is everything precision slapped on here. If you said this is precision, that is precision. Everything from the stock, fully adjustable stock. It's a folding stock. How cool is that? It has a vertical grip, which a bunch of the precision long range guys love. It has a good trigger, adjustable trigger, super smooth bolt, dust cover here, 20 MOA rail. I'm flying through this stuff. We got to get to the good part of the video. Flat base here, all kind of M-lock here. Slapped a pivoting Caldwell uh, bipod on there. This thing has a, what I would call a super heavy barrel there. Definitely good for precision. Like I said, this is an 11 and a half pound rig without the scope. Threaded barrel, of course, and on top, I have a Crimson Trace Hardline Pro. This is the exact same optic that's on my 338 Lapua. So that's definitely good enough to do the job for the six millimeter Creedmoor. But let's head out to the range. I'm gonna slow things down. I'm gonna do three shot groups, let it cool in between some. Uh, we have this super heavy barrel, but still, I wanna do it just to see how good I can do with my own hand loads and try not to screw it up. But check it out. Let's go to the range. Seekins Precision Havoc Hit. Incredible setup. And my own hand loads that I put together hanging out with Frankfurt Arsenal. But check it out. Let's hit the range. Three 
All right, last group with the six millimeter Creedmoor. I really feel like I haven't done this load justice. I feel like this load is really good. We've got a couple in the same hole. I'm gonna super focus and super slow down on this last three shot group. See what we can do. I'm not trying to say this is the optimal perfect load that I did. Surely we can get uh, a load tuned up even better than this one, but I feel like it's a good one. I'm gonna really slow down here with this last three. See what we can do. Yeah, it felt like a good squeeze there. Yeah, one felt like a good one. Those weren't touching, but Still not a terrible group. Well, if y'all are six millimeter Creedmoor fans, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a factory load testing with this thing really soon. Um, that might help us, uh, well it will help us get some more load data on what this thing likes or doesn't like. But here we go, last one. More data is always good. That might be the best group that we did today, but let me go uh, grab those targets and we'll measure them with the calipers back at the house and see how we did with my hand loads that I loaded myself. Uh, the Seekins Havoc Kit in 6mm Creed. Pretty sweet. Alright guys, back from the range and let me tell you, this thing is super, super slick. Now. These are not cheap uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but man is this thing nice. Super, super crisp trigger. I got the stock set up exactly how I like it. Vertical grip, I love the grip. Everything about this is awesome. Absolutely love it. Now, how did we do with my hand loads that we did specifically for this sequence precision I just measured the groups with the calipers. Check it out. So here we go. Right off the jump, greater than a one inch group. That's not what we wanted to see, but hey, we're just getting warmed up. Also, that was my 100 yard zero from when I was in Arizona. A little bit off, so I adjusted the scope. Boop. And then the very next group was the best group that I got all day at the range two touching and another one close a 0 0.471 inch group with my own hand loads that right there that makes me pretty happy 0 0.47 that's pretty good that's better than what you're going to get with just about any factory loading so that makes me happy it doesn't make me jump up and do a dance because i think we can definitely work on those loads and do better than 0.4 but how do we do the rest of them 0.832 was the next one and two of those are touching just like we had two touching here then what did we do uh, we had a 0.5 six or 0.524 inch group that's pretty good again that's better than most factory stuff that you can get off the shelf then I don't know what happened I just wasn't happy I did a five shot group that ended up being 1.37 I don't know what happened there but I had three under one inch for sure, a 0.8, a 0.4, and a 0.5 with my own hand loads. The very best being a 0.471. And hey, those of you guys that love all this type of data, I'm going to pop up on the screen the data right here from this load uh, if you guys want to know that information. But hey, definitely going to be doing some more load testing see if we can find something even better an even better loading that we can replicate duplicate and get even better than that 0 0.47 0 0.47 hey that makes me happy but they're not in the same hole so i think we can do better even three touching i think we can do it it's just going to take a little bit of work but like i said 
absolutely love this Seekins. Stay tuned for more on this thing. I'm also going to do a bunch of factory load testing out of this. Different grain weights, different loadings, uh, factory loadings as well to see if there's a factory loading out there that this thing absolutely loves. And maybe we could use that as our cheat sheet also for some load, duplication, so on and so forth. You guys get what I'm saying. But hey, woo-wee. This is a very fancy, nice rig. Definitely set up a little bit nicer than some of the stuff we're normally used to. But Seekins Precision, absolutely awesome. Really nice piece of glass and that crimson trace on there too. Appreciate y'all hanging around and watching this quick video on me and those hand loads that I put together out there. Still got some of that one particular loading that I put together that got us that point four. But appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Make sure you're subscribed. Truly, truly appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!